Shook it up. Good morning, guys. Today is Friday. It is the 8th of March. And today I am going on a trip to Portugal with green and pink, the amazing luxury sleepwear brand that I've been working with. And the girls are bringing us away, whisking us away to Portugal for a girls weekend to relax and enjoy some sunshine together because that's what our team is about. So I'm just going to take you through what I'm packing because I've never done that before. And I thought it'd be a little bit interesting just to show you how I pack and what I bring with me when I go on holidays. I'm f First of all, I'm just waiting on my hair curler. This is the T3 hair curler. So it has a detachable spout or head on it. And you can put all different heads on it, but I usually just use that one. And um, for those asking how I get my luscious curls, no, it is not natural. It is all down to the T3. And um, obviously I'll be packing chargers, my Kindle, and one trick that I want to show you. When you go away, there's usually maybe one, two plugs in the hotel room. So what I do, because we all have millions of chargers for watches, phones, laptops, everything that we bring away. So if you bring one of these, an extension lead, then you just need one adapter and then so obviously if you need an adapter if you're not going somewhere foreign you may not need an adapter but this is my little trick you bring this and then you can plug in multiple things into the one generous plug in your hotel room I have carry on so i'm restricted i usually like to have a check-in bag so i can put all my liquids away but i've had to do all the little travel size everything so i have my tripod so that i can film some workouts while i'm there i've got my headphones these are the sony ones that i use they're wireless ones i've got one of the resistance bands this is the smallest one which if the gym in the hotel is kind of crappy at least i can get a resistance band working got my brushes this is all just toiletries in here and um, and i have my turtle pillow now this is the tur turtle plus pillow this is what gets me all comfy when i'm traveling so this is the turtle plus now what the difference is is that this part here is adjustable so it adjusts up and down to make it super comfy and look how small and neat it is you can literally just wrap this around the front of your bag because it just attaches and it just doesn't take up any room like those big stupid ones that you get at the airport and it's way more reasonably priced and it comes in this like little bag so I can literally hang that on the outside and it's not going to take up too much space and then I've got my flight socks again just so that I don't have the old swollen piggies because I do get swollen feet when I travel so I'm going to bring these and I'll just put them with them and then handy so that's perfect for travel then we have some sliders because it's going to be a bit of a comfy walky holiday as opposed to um you know getting all dressed up i have my boots that i'm going to wear and then i've got some trainers i've got some workout clothes i have a bikini in here somewhere yeah i have one of my uh, 437 bikinis these are my favorite um, I'll link them below and um, we just have some workout clothes some daytime clothes and I've just been really frugal with my packs and I tend to completely overpack because we usually do the check-in bag because we're too lazy to um, we're too lazy to try and determine what we're gonna wear each day so this time I've been frugal I've got one bag and it's like I think I think it's a Samsung bag, I'm not sure. Me and Lex got it one from, from the, one of the outlets. And this is my comfy attire. These are my comfy jeans. Again, I said I'll be wearing my flight socks. And hair's all curled. I put on a little bit of fake tan because at the moment I'm like Snow White. I'm so pale. So hopefully we'll get a little bit of sunshine on the body. And, you know, a bit of sunshine always does your physically and mental health a world of good and there's definitely a gym in the hotel to check that out so um, I'm not sure how good it is because sometimes they make them look massive and then they're not but I'm gonna have some breakfast now and then I'm heading off to the airport I'm flying from Manchester 
Can't wait, girls' weekend. Oh. So it's 10 a.m. on Saturday morning, and I've just walked through the market and gotten some fresh fruit and went to the supermarket, got some fresh bread and we'll get some coffees for me and the girls and the sun is shining. I forgot my sunglasses so I'm like the master of squinting right now. But it just you know it's like 10 a.m on a Saturday morning and everyone is like just such hustle and bustle. Like I, I actually walked down about 9 a.m and it's just jammed with people buying fresh fruit and veg and um, it just made me think of all the amazing recipes that are being cooked up at home in all the local houses using all the fresh fruit and veg because it's not something I would do I wouldn't normally go to a market and buy fresh fruit and veg because I suppose it's not as readily available but I can just imagine I was just looking at all the squashes and the courgettes and Oh, I was just thinking about all the delicious food, but I am quite food obsessed, if you haven't noticed. So I'm getting my steps in anyway, because I've walked along the boardwalk here. And uh, I've got a lot of Portuguese people giving me strange looks. But it's really beautiful here. I want to take Lex back here. Today we are going out to a, an island, and we're going to do some photographs and get some lunch and there's no cars allowed on the island so we have to like get a boat out and then walk I think it's just out that way so it's kind of in a we're in a marina kind of area so there's no actual beach here it's so pretty and the food is so good so far so yeah that's my day so far We're back on dry land, we've just been on that boat and we've just been to an island shooting for the day. Had some really good food, I've got a sunburned shoulder, it's a good day to be alive. Today is Monday, it's the 11th of March and we head home from Portugal from our little holidays and I'm just packing up and trying to be a little bit quiet because I don't know whether everyone's up or not. Um, so for the weekend I had planned on going to the gym, there's gym facilities here at the hotel, I had brought my resistance bands, I brought my tripod so I could record my gym workout but I chose to just relax, spend time with my friends and just enjoy the sunshine instead of going to the gym when realistically I, not that I didn't want to but it wasn't a priority because this weekend for me was more about relaxing and um, kind of taking time away from my normal life to just reflect and things like that and I do feel a hell of a lot better than I did before I left and I feel quite determined now when I get back to get back to the gym get back to healthy eating because waffles and ice cream are not a very good diet uh, but I did enjoy the food here the food here is amazing um, and I enjoyed the company but I'm looking forward now to going home seeing Lex and the puppies getting back to the gym getting back to my goals and hopefully following through with it because I know I've been kind of up and down but actually achieving anything lately and now I feel like I'm a little bit more determined to actually get things done because you have to be in the right frame of mind to push yourself forward and if your mind is in the right place nothing else follows so just get yourself happy and healthy and then the rest will follow. Sorry it was such a short video I'll be back in a couple of days with more content and some fun workouts. See you next time. Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, I'd buy them all the parents, ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drinks. And we would party, and we would dance, and we would throw up all them hands until they turned to crowd. Yeah, I got you now, if I only had a hundred fans. Life's too short to be 
your ass. 